Hello and welcome to this video about Automotive Spice and the changes between the fourth and third generation of Automotive Spice standard. My name is Alexander Levine and I am a managing consultant at Kukla Mark & Company by UL Solutions. I head the community of Praxis on Spice. I've been involved in systems engineering and functional safety for about 20 years, primarily in the automotive industry. In my other things, I'm an Intex certified competent assessor and a certified functional safety engineer. In this video, I would like to shed light on the differences of ASPICE 4.0 and the earlier version ASPICE 3.1. In the new version, there are a few changes that are very noticeable and quite a few in detail, but will have all the more impact. For this, we consider two fundamental pillars. The first one addresses opening the process assessment model to other mechatronic disciplines. And the second pillar concerns the many changes at the detailed level. Pillar number one. Automotive SPICE now also enables process assessments for other mechatronic disciplines. The big change to the third generation of Automotive SPICE was the plug-in concept. This made it possible to develop model extensions for other engineering disciplines. Now, some of these plug-ins are part of the standard. These domain-related pumps are included to the Automotive SPICE 4.0 version hardware engineering, and machine learning. Automotive Spice 4.0 also introduces various new processes. This inclusion facilitates process assessments across further mechatronic disciplines. As said before, the hardware plugin with four processes has been firmly integrated into the standard. The same applies to the machine learning process group. Here, four new processes supplement the respective software engineering processes. In addition, a new support process for data management comes into play. Potentially, further specific models will be included in the later ASPICE version. In addition, a new process has been added, validation. This process is a tribute to the new multi-domain approach of ASPICE. At the top of the system integration processes, validation must provide evidence that the final product meets the intended use. Will this make process assessment even more complicated than before? Not necessarily, because the scope of the core processes has been reformulated. Although the ASPICE model is more comprehensive than ever before. The scope relevant for assessment has been streamlined to core processes. This scope is called basic scope. Of course, this does not mean that the rest of the processes are of no importance. After all, the processes in the basic scope have dependencies on the rest of the processes. Based on the selected processes, the assessor has critical control points to get a comprehensive picture. With this information, the inclusion of hardware engineering, machine learning engineering, and the overall evaluation, you know the new structure of Automotive Spice 4.0. The basic scope defines which processes are intensively evaluated in an ASPICE assessment. Let's come to our second pillar, the changes at the detailed level. There are some terminology changes in the Automotive Spice 4.0. The changes aim to clarify concepts, reduce misconceptions and better align with other relevant standards such as ISO 26262. The more consistent and precise terminology will facilitate better understanding and application of automotive spice. In some respects, this has been successful, but in others, new areas of interpretation have opened up, which we will certainly discuss more frequently in the future. Let's address now the most important change right away. The required strategies are almost completely shifted to the GP211, which means serious change in the interpretation of the standard. 
Previously, some processes required a strategy while others did not, leading to confusion and misinterpretation. To address these misunderstandings, former strategy BPs have been reallocated. The revision should help streamline assessment practice and better reflect modern development methods. Here are some examples from the processes. SUS 4 and 5 and SWE 5 and 6. Although a strategy is no longer required, Base Practice 1 now requires definitions of core topics that were previously part of the strategy. So this doesn't change much. But it better aligns with standards like ISO 26662 or ISO 21434. Sub 1. Emphasis on the independence of quality assurance has increased, which is a significant advantage. Base Practice BP2 now includes essential aspects of the previous quality management strategy, so this topic is still addressed. But Sub 8, Sub 9, Sub 10. These processes no longer require a strategy, and this may lead to a more significant decision-making leeway for assessors in determining what is needed. As mentioned before, Generic Practice 211 no longer only requires project-specific objectives, but also a performance strategy. So processes like MAN3 project management that did not require a strategy before now need one on capability level two. We now will discuss further alterations aimed at improving the standards application in the automotive industry. One significant change is the removal of the base practice verification criteria. This was done to address issues that arose in assessment practice. Verifiability is now integrated into base practice one. Another update is the shift from testing to verification. Sub 2 verification has been removed and SWE and SUS processes now allow for various verification approaches, such as measurements, calculations and simulations. Traceability and consistency-based practices have been collapsed into one. Automotive Spy 3.1 separated then, but experience showed that ensuring consistency required traceability. They have been combined into one base practice again without invalidating additional advantages of traceability. Since I personally have rarely experienced that you could evaluate the two practices separately, this makes sense to me. So you have seen the two pillars of change in Automotive Spice 4.0. The extension of the model to other engineering disciplines and the refinement of some detailed issues to facilitate the application in a SPICE assessment. In conclusion, the changes in Automotive SPICE 4.0 will make it easier for professionals like you to achieve process improvement and ensure product quality. I've also prepared a white paper to go with this video, which you can download here via the link at the bottom. Don't miss our next video on automotive engineering topics. Subscribe to the Kugler Mark YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and you can also recommend our videos to coworkers. See you in the next video. Kugler Mag and Company, KVA, Method Park, Engineering Made Smart.